turn right. Walk past the stream that's dried up. Turn right onto the green trail. Past the gate. There's the pond on my right side, and you actually can tell it goes slightly downhill here on my left, and that is woodlands. Again, until it goes downhill to the swamp. So far, my elevation hasn't changed. So it is the same as the campground, but as you can see, the swamp does go down. Nice. Dead raccoon. Beautiful. Looking at the GPS on my phone, I'm going north, which is what I was expecting. Past the pond, and you have a forest on this side, like I wrote, and you have forest on this side, which is where I wrote. Okay. Looking at the map here, there is forest here, and coming up ahead, I should have the option to go left, straight. Forest here, forest there. Now, I can tell up ahead, see that, that there is a clearing up ahead.
and it's gradually all becoming the same height. It's all matching up. forest and forest Here is the connector that I mentioned on my map. on both right and left sides the trail intersects with the base trail which is right here and then the green trail and the green trail which again you see on my map and I am going to go straight. The forest is going to be on my left, which you see here, forest, and then swampy land. It's going to be coming up with my map. It says there's power lines that way, but cannot see them. But again, you can tell that would be swampy, but it's currently dry. All right, there we have a trail marker that is telling me I am still on the green trail. It's not telling me to jump over to either side. And as I had written, the trail begins to gradually turn. So how it gradually starts to turn compared to there where it's pretty much straight. Right. So on the right here, I have, looks like a pond. On the left, it's woodlands, which as I keep walking, again, there's a pond there and a nice serious slope. Now, I should have a small pond on my right, which is here, and the swampy area on my left, which you really can't tell. I'm gonna look at my map. You 
could say where I am. And reading from my notes, I had to be alert that as a swamp turns to forest, I will keep turning the power lines, which are supposed to be over that way, which you can very vaguely see are going to be behind me and the green trail will then go. So I'm coming up to another area in a little bit. And again, that is the small pond that I mentioned earlier. All right, back there is the pond and then you have this riverway here. Looking at my map, I almost think that the river should be over on my left side, not my right side. Just kind of looking at the Gaia trail map that I'm using to register my walk, it shows you it should be there. So again, I know I'm going in the right direction. it because it's saying it should all be swampland here. So I guess at times it's more swampy, and at times it's more wet, but it almost looks like a river. Again, the elevation is down. I am still on the green trail. You can tell that looks like it should be fairly swampy. As you can see, little pouches of water and everything wet. Yes, I'm a sucker. I'm supposed to be mapping my walk and I'm gonna stop and steal some bark. Continuing back on my walk. There's a metal field marker up ahead. So let me know I'm going the right way. I've marked on a tree. You don't go that way. That's not a path. And there's nothing this way. But again, that gradual turning of the route. And here you can see the power line. Now that's going to go from my left side to behind me as I complete the turns. <sighs> Got horses that take this trail too. Swampy area there. And now the trail gets a lot thinner up ahead. Normally at this point, when the trail starts to get thinner, I'm by myself, it's less to find. I generally will turn back and have Ray come with me, but I'm totally 
alone today. And again, still on the green trail. And again, see, it's turning. And power lines now are back there behind me. No longer that way. And I should be having coming up to me soon another branch up. And so still on the green trail. That is Wicked cool how this tree came down. Like folded. So cool. Right. Looking at my map, it appears that I am now going south. According to the Gaia map that I have. It also shows that I am fully into the turn that I knew that was coming up, but it was very gradual. And again, when the trail looks like this, I generally don't like to be here without Ray. But I'm actually fairly confident because I took really good notes on what I should be seeing. And also, it is fairly well marked. It's just getting over that initial hurdle. Now I have forest on both sides of me, totally, and should be having a branch off coming up ahead in a couple minutes. I don't know if you can tell, but there is a road over there. So, I know I'm coming up to the area. They have over here. See? So I think I missed the first connector trail looking at that road over there. I think that's the yellow trail, which is the abandoned railroad tracks. But I'm still on the green trail. I just didn't notice where it connected in. And I have a river right here, which I'm walking over. And this tells me that I did go past the connector because it says is the forest on the right turns into swamp. There'll be a sight stream. There you go. Going across the trail. Which you can see right where I am. So I missed the initial branch off. Whether it's gone or it's still there, but I missed that one. So there is another one 
coming up. Which is, yeah, the way to combine them the second time. But I missed the one connector. And you get a swamp on the right hand side and a swamp on the left hand side. And again, see? I don't know if you can tell, but yeah. There's the other road that I supposed to that I had mentioned, but I lost the connector for. getting easier to see. That's the yellow trail. trail and it says orange I wrote down beige that's a dead end and that is the direction I want to go so, beige is on my left actually in front of me you can see beige is to my left and there's my green trail so Pulling up my map, it's only one connector towards it, and what I wrote is on here, the trail forks left onto the beige when it's really like straight, and right onto the green trail really that could take you to beige and that can so it's a three way and my map did not show it as a three way neither did my notes but as I said I'm going to stay to the right and stay on the green trail and it's going to be surrounded by swamps up ahead and it will slowly curve first to the left and then to the right which will bring you back to that small pond that had the swamp land but it looked more like a river stream next to it all right let's go okay so still on the green trail which is my goal coming up to some of the turns. We got swamp area over here. A lot of swampy area. And swamp on this side of me. This mountain laurel here is going to look beautiful in the spring, summer. This is the kind of trail I like because it's fun.
still on the green trail. And I thought it would bring you closer to the pond, but it doesn't. So there again, my map and my reading was slightly off. But as I had mentioned, if I go straight, that's the Bayes Trail. Right starts the loop that I just was on again. And left goes back to the campground. I go left and again my notes said I was going to get a lot closer to the small pond again but I didn't see it all right so I am now heading in the direction of the campground and a couple things I've noticed a it's hard to tell swamp from forest especially when it's a pine forest the swamps aren't necessarily very visible. Also, it's winter, so it's not the wet season. But New Jersey doesn't have a wet season as far as I'm concerned. Uh, second, even if the trail looks like it goes right up against a waterway, it might not. So you just have to kind of really know where you're going and which direction you're following. If you don't see one marker, wait a minute, because you'll probably see another planned marker that you thought about. So, couldn't really tell swamp from forest, but there was always at least one wetter area that let me know. Also, almost no elevation change whatsoever, which is kind of surprising, because I knew it was supposed to be slight, but it was actually pretty flat, according to my legs. And yeah. Alright, so this again, on the way in, it said it was swampy, and then the pond right near the camp site. And over here is a slight elevation change, which is now on my right side. Coming in, it was on my left. And there's my friendly dead raccoon. Still here, still on the trail. But yep, there's the pond. All right, here's the gate that I saw when coming in. My campsite is right there. There's my wonderful truck. And I'm gonna go off trail a little bit here. There's the elevation change. <laughs> All right, back at sight.